it is Saturday night and usually I would be doing a stitch with me kind of thing or something. Um, but I am smack in the middle of a really delightful um, anxiety attack. So I'm not going to set that up. I'm just going to sit here and stitch and breathe and watch Ghost Adventures and breathe. Maybe have a beer. Breathe. And see how it goes. But I will check in with you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's me. I'm back. Doing a little better than I was earlier. My chest finally, you know, relaxed. And I got a lot done. I got, unfortunately I can't hold this back and point, but I got some more of this, uh, this herringbone done. And a little bit down here. And I even did a little purple heart. Isn't it cute? I'm having way too much fun just with the variegated threads. I don't know why I bother with the black anymore. Um, I think I'm done for the night. I'm going to watch some more ghost adventures. I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to relax. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. It is Monday night. I only got a tiny little bit of stitching done. Just that kind of greenish. I didn't have anything to swap it out with. So I figured we'll just go with the called for. But I unexpectedly went out to dinner tonight, so I really only had time to put one length of thread in. I'm, I'm about to be. There's a... This is happening. Don't walk on the project! Oh, my Lord. Okay. Um. So, yeah, that's what I did tonight. Tomorrow night is dinner at Dad's, so we'll see if there's any stitching after that. I will check in with you guys later. Good night, guys. It is Wednesday night. I haven't done very much. <laughs> I managed to do a little more of that green. I have absolutely no idea how I feel about this two-tone tree. I'll have to see how it comes out. I know I just have to trust. I mean, this came out fine. It's still not my favorite colors, but it looks good. It does. So I will trust that this will also come out good. Don't know if there's going to be much stitching tomorrow night because I'm going out, but we'll see what happens. This could be a short week or a short video week um, just because there's a lot going on and I'm kind of grumpy. So we'll see, but I will check in with you guys later. Bye guys. Hey guys, it is Friday night and just did a little more on the tree tonight. It's been kind of a wild week. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going to follow this up probably with my usual, hey, it's my face bit. So I think I'll just talk to you in a few minutes. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. It's me and my blonde roots. Yeah, we took a little break from dyeing our hair. Give the scalp a rest. I apologize. I apologize for everybody who has to interact with me in a day. We fix next week. Next Saturday. We fixed. I promise. So as you have just watched, I think a total of four minutes of video from the past week hasn't been a big stitchy week. Um, I actually indulged myself and my waistline um, many times this week. I went out to dinner Monday night. Tuesday night, Thursday night, we ordered out last night, um, yeah, it's been a, there was, because when I go out, to, then there's a couple of drinks, and then stitching is hit or miss, so, not the most fantastic stitching week, but at least not a terrible week. I did manage to actually write down a few things that I wanted to talk about, so that this video wasn't a complete wash. I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't stop fussing with my hair. Um, I just wet it and it looks, ah, oh, whatever. First off, those of us here in the U.S., and I know not everybody is, actually, I think most of the world is probably concerned about our election cycle 
because we be dangerous. We be dangerous right now. So I just want to make three political statements or three statements about politics and the elections in the past week. And then um, the rest of it is just going to be fun stuff because, yeah, we don't, nobody needs to be dragged down about all of this again. Point number one. Hooray. We took back the House. Number two. The Republican Party is no longer the party of Abraham Lincoln, Ronald Reagan, or even Bush and Shrub. That's over. You might be able to get it back. You might be able to get it back to just some, you know, hardcore conservator conservatism. But right now it's not a healthy thing and we need to deal with that. Number three. I would like to propose to nobody in particular because I wouldn't know who to tell. A 24 hour voting holiday in the US. Because a lot of people like to talk about how, first of all, voting is not hard, especially right now. I, voting early and voting by mail, I have never known this to be such a thing. I thought you had to be wicked special to vote early and things like that. You don't. You just need to show up and you put your ballot in an envelope. But we're finding out now that the stuff that they had set aside to count if they need it, which makes no sense to me, is now causing all sorts of problems. So I think that voting should be a national holiday. But even on a national holiday, hospitals need to run and, you know, um, emergency services need to be there. So not everybody gets the day off kind of thing to go vote. So why not require that every state open their polls at midnight and close them at midnight, 1159, do what you want. That way, even emergency responders and people like that, they're not probably not working a full 24 hour shift. There are some people who still do that and that's what your early voting is for. I feel like this could solve a few problems. Obviously, it probably won't solve the problems for a lot of people who would like to keep elections the way they are so that they're less fair and, you know, less accessible to people. But I think this is a pretty solid plan. I mean, solid in that it's coming out of my head. I believe I thought it up during a beer-fueled rant. I'm not the first one. But I think it's a solid plan. I think it's something we should go with. And this is the last we're going to talk about my political opinions in this video. I went shopping. I went a little bit shopping. I had to order something from Amazon. What did I have to order from Amazon? Oh, I ordered a Bluetooth speaker for Halloween that I ended up not using because even though it worked, it didn't, it wasn't loud enough and you couldn't hear my spooky sounds. So I ended up not using it. But because I don't feel like I should ever order a package that has one thing in it, it's like having a chart travel by itself. It's not safe. It's not good. I ordered these hangers. Hold on. I ordered these because I have a lot of fabric. Oh, look at that arm. Oh, it's attractive. Um, I have a lot of fabric and I have a lot of finishes that obviously haven't been FFO'd that are just hanging around all manner of places. So I thought someday if I get into the closet that's over there, you can't see it from here, um, I would hang them up on these things and they would hang nicely. Possibly in here, maybe over here, you're seeing uh, like a video or a still image of my recent finishes that I put up on one of these. These were, I bought two packages of two each. So I have four of them. More than enough for the fabric and the finishes that I have. Get them up out of the way, get them away from the kitties. You know, they like to play with things. Sorry if that made a noise. So I will link those below if you are interested in looking at those on Amazon. My next thing is project bags. I told you I was gonna make project bags. Do you wanna see them? They're not quite cooked yet. They're not quite cut yet or sewed or anything, but Look at the fabric. Look at this. And this. 
I thought they were suitably kind of dark and gothic without being necessarily Halloween. Because I know that most, like, a lot of people watch my stuff because I am into the stuff that they like. But not everybody is, you know, Halloween 24-7, 365, plus the leap years and the days. This leap seconds. Did you know that? There are. And I fill them with Halloween in my heart. So years ago, when I still live with my parents, I made a quilt, a quilt, but I had a large, like 36 inch cutting mat. I think it's still there. What I have now is 18 inches and it's, it's not big enough to cut even for a, a project bag. And I try to do that, you know, fold it over a couple of times and then you just cut on the area that you have. And when you unfold it, everything should be the same. You know, because I'm not good at this and my edges get all weird and it goes poorly. And then I get a bag that's like a trapezoid. Nobody wants a trapezoid. Nobody. So if I can get the cutting mat from my father's house, assuming it's still there, then maybe I can cut some fabric this week. Otherwise, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe instead of sending people project bags, I'll just send them the fabric and y'all can do whatever it is you want to do with it. We'll see. Uh, I actually receive a fair number of emails. And again, I have to tell you, I am no better at responding to emails than I am responding to the comments on my videos. Um, but I noticed that the things I get in email are a lot more conversational and I get questions and I, they get a little more of a, of a conversation. And one of the things that somebody sent me was like, oh, I saw this, uh, this song and I thought you would like it. And I did turn out to like it. It was a band I was already familiar with. And that is Night Terrors of 1927, which sounds so much scarier than they are. I'll put up a graphic or something. Um, but I thought, why not in these little end videos uh, recommend a song that I've kind of been maybe listening to this week or something like that. So this week was, it was not a terrible week, but it was a very, like a weepy week. There was a lot of, I was just down and just set. So my song of the week has been Nova King by Night Terrors of 1927. I will link below there. It's not a video. They don't have an official video on their site, but they have the official audio. So it's just a image with the song, which I enjoy a great deal. And it actually made me think of you, Kara, not because it's a little melancholy, but because their sound actually makes me think of Human League. And I will now always associate you with Human League. And I think that's a good thing. So you might enjoy them. But obviously the song is for all. I think that's it for this week. I'm going to get my blonde roots out of your face now. Lord knows I'm going to get them out of my face. I cannot stand. I might just paste something over my face for this video. I won't do that. Um, but I am going to get out of your way. I'm going to try to work on some projects today. I am going to, I think what I might do is try to set up my Stitch With Me stuff now so that later on, Saturday night, sitting watching my ghost adventures, I might be a little more motivated to do a stitch with me if it's already set up. So we'll see how that goes. But I will talk to you all later, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sending me emails and messages. I do appreciate them. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.